We're making this movie about the Second World War. It's playing in 1944 in the Netherlands when the British paratroopers invade from one side while the German troops invade from the other in order to get the upper hand. Although the story itself is fictional, um, the event based around um, the story, the framework, is, um, is real. I thought the script was very well written, um, had a lot of, sort of entertaining um, action-packed sequences as well as incredibly dramatic um, character-based sequences with a lot of tension. We're, we're in a situation now where we have a lot of soldiers returning home um, damaged and psychologically damaged and physically damaged and I think a good way to kind of address that and to show people that is to take it out of the context of modern day warfare and, and show it through another medium and that's we're doing that through the through in this film through the Second World War. We do start with a confrontation between the British and the German soldiers in the woods. So we do have a battle scene. Really something different um, to what you usually see in short films. It's a, it's a full-on action scene, um, which is not only um, not only a visual candy, but it also um, um, helps us to set up the story in general. You, you want to get the audience in into the into the context of war as quickly as possible, and so the best way to do that is with a battle. And I think that is something that is going to be very impressive and stand out to people when they watch this film at festivals. I think so many years after the war, we are um, allowed to paint an image of, um, of German soldiers that is, um, that is not um, portraying pure evil. I like the way the film um, didn't depict the, the sides within that conflict in, in a sort of black and white way. The, it was more about the shades of grey. They're not the usual SS officers that we, we see in films. Um, and neither are they highly aggressive, uh, trigger happy, Soldiers, they are as worn out, if not even more worn out, and torn and battered from the battlefield. Previously, both sides have kind of been painted in quite broad strokes, and we wanted to avoid that at all costs and just kind of show the, the reality of things and the, the reality of how uh, both sides, you know, are operating under very strange conditions, and that is the condition of war. They face the same fears and they hold on to the same hopes as our British soldiers. So it's kind of a really interesting piece in terms of, you know, a united Europe now to kind of to be able to make this film together and, and as a result be able to look at it from a fresh perspective and say, okay, well, let's look at everybody as humans. Another very important aspect that um, both myself and Marcus want to focus on in this short, um, in terms of authenticity, is, uh, is language. Uh, often in, in films you see that there is what they all speak one language, English. We have the British speaking English and we have the German speaking German and the, the communication between those groups, uh, including the Dutch women, is, is very difficult and, and fractured. If everything would be in English, we lose a lot of authenticity, we lose a lot of uh, realism um, that could be easily achieved by just you know, staying in the original language. We do not know who we can trust and we do not know what we can believe, what we hear and what is truly said. I'd, I'd like to give the film a period look and, bring, and take the audience back in time so they feel like they are there in that period. I think sort of desaturated colours and heightened contrast could um, evoke that, that feeling, as well as shooting on film. I mean, the plan is to shoot on 35mm film to give the film you know, high-end feature film production value. We will have the gun flares, we will have smoke coming out of the guns, we will use prosthetics, we will use squibs. Uh, we, we, we just really want it to feel real and we want it to feel dirty and we want it to feel gritty. Um, my background is, is drama, I'm a feature film cinematographer and uh, also short films that I've been involved with have been BAFTA nominated. So for me, I love making short films because I believe they're a great, um, there's a great freedom in making a film on a, short, on a short scale. Yeah, well from a director's point of view, this is of course uh, an incredible challenge. Um, but after the last five years of uh, experimenting with different genres, different, um, 
uh, lengths of short films um, in general that uh, you know we do feel confident um, that we can pull this off. We do have an incredible project. We all feel very strong about it. Um, the entire crew is putting a lot of work into it and we just need the remaining funding to make this film happen. Please do support us, do follow us. Um, we're going to provide you with regular updates. We're going to provide you with um, video updates here on, uh, on Indiegogo. We're going to provide you with updates on Facebook. Follow our Facebook page. Please help us make this film. All the ingredients are there. We're ready to shoot this film. All that's missing is the funding. Help us make this film for you. You are the audience. You will be the ones watching it. You will be the ones being proud to be part of this very ambitious, very incredible project.